clear to me the Kenyans have been doing massive amounts of cardio. They're becoming quick little fuckers. So I need a force multiplier that can be executed at great distances. So it's time to break out the big guns. My sabotage on dickhead avians weapon. Today I have an intel update on that evil mouse that's been brainwashing people into thinking his compound is the happiest place on earth. I just received a report that in the 60s they produced a movie about a witch that poses as a nanny. This propaganda film doesn't stop there either. That's just the beginning of this cat turd of a movie. This film is like a blueprint on how to destroy a great nation. And guess what? It worked. It has all the hallmarks of what is wrong with America we know today. The wife and mother likes to pretend that she's a strong woman that is fighting for women's rights, but she can't even be bothered to raise her own kids. Then, as soon as someone tells her to do something, she drops whatever she's doing and bends to the will of others. She never accomplishes anything beside yapping about how she's making the world better for women. Is she though? No. The answer is no. The dad is made out to be a villain because he's trying to install a sense of hard work and responsibility in his children. He's the bad guy because he wants his kids to be hard working good people. Ridiculous. And then there's the most egregious character of all. The grand poobah of all the worst things possible. Miss Mary Poppins herself. She comes in and takes the mother's job rendering Miss Banks useless. Then she drugs the children with what seems to be some sort of medical grade psychedelic acid. That's right, boys. She takes them on a trip. A trip. A trip. Then she casts spells on inanimate objects, causing them to spontaneously do what she commands them to do. Then the kids sober up. They start talking about their experience while flying high. And just like all great child abusers, Poppins instantly starts to convince them that they were making it all up and nothing like that ever happened. Then she turns her evil ways on the extended family. She leaves their uncle in tears, a grown man crying because he can see her true colors that no one else could. Then once she milks the dad, for all his money, she kills his boss and flies away to ruin another family. She does this over and over again, leaving a wake of broken dreams and families behind her. But PP, what does this have to do with the way our country is today? This movie came out 60 plus years ago. Don't you see? A checked out mom, dad who isn't there much because he's buried in work, kids that are on drugs and being brainwashed by evil strangers who are raising said kids. That's exactly what killed the best country on earth. This was a sick wet dream that Walt Disney had and he paid to have a fantasy played out on film. This was the beginning of the end. Without this film, America might not have lost its way. But here we are, it's time to get back to basics. It's time to strengthen the bond of the American family. Once we all learn that, the rest of the problems will magically fix themselves. Until then, stay vigilant, stay prepared, and if an old cunt comes flying in on a parasol with a spoon full of sugar, keep her away from your kids at all costs. Panic Prepper 1, out. They're up to something. Look, sitting, waiting, covering the egress point. Look, right by the kill box. And we got one here faking an injury. It's a slow mover. He's probably got to get to some power lines and recharge. My sabotage on dickhead avian's weapon. You think they're going to know it's soda? Well, it pops up. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's, there's some outtakes for you. Is that Mary Poppins? Mm -hmm. I've seen the movie. I even have the new one upstairs and watched it. I don't remember any of that, like, women shit in there. So, I don't so even I'm remember like, seeing the mom. I thought the crazy. mom was dead. I, I thought he was raising the kids himself. Yeah, well, that's And the there point. was no like, mother. Yeah. Did she really kill somebody in the movie? Why don't they just call it an umbrella? Why is it a parasol? You ever try to jump? Like, we tried jumping with umbrellas. Like, we oh, did like have an umbrella that was shit. pretty big oh, that would yeah, kind of slow you down. Uh -huh. We had umbrellas flip over. We ruined a lot of them, but none of them, you couldn't fly with them. It was the 80s. They didn't care back then. <laughs>